Hundreds of ACDP branch members from across the country's nine provinces gathered over a number of days to discuss the party's policy positions. Amongst them, to affirm its stance on the COVID-19 pandemic and vaccines used against the virus. The party has been critical of mandatory vaccinations. Earlier this year, it submitted two petitions to Parliament aimed at preventing South Africa from committing itself to a World Health Organization pandemic treaty. We call on the South African Parliament to ensure that the government does not support the World Health Organization's plan to unilaterally control the World Health Agenda without the direct and transparent participation of the citizenry of the world and that the parliaments that are representing the interests of billions of people on earth are involved in the process. The party has called for provincial and national governments to place a moratorium on the closure of rural schools. The Department of Basic Education is developing a policy framework that aims to improve rural schools that are seen to be too small or not capable of growing, with plans of merging them or ultimately closing them down. And all provincial governments to place a moratorium on the closing of rural schools and all parliament exercise effective oversight to ensure the best interests of children are served and the rights of rural communities are respected in the rural, in the rural education framework. The ACDP further lamented the ongoing load shedding crisis. In a special sitting in Parliament on Friday, President Sol Ramaphosa announced that South Africa would need about 1.5 trillion rand for the country's just energy transition plan. It's devastating to our economy. It impacts people's lives on the ground, those in hospitals, in clinics, and even those who have to use ventilation machines in their homes, the age and the frail. And so the ACTP certainly is, cannot be happy with the current trajectory and the huge amount of load shedding that we currently have. And we have consistently called for those to be held accountable, particularly with regards to the state capture report. May Shwe further called on the Zondo Commission's recommendations, which are before Parliament, to be implemented speedily. Natasha Piri, SABC News, Johannesburg.